If you feel that your scooter is no longer braking as it once used to, one of the reasons may be the air present in the brake system. The good news is that you can bleed the brakes yourself. In this video, we will show you how. First, disassemble the brake caliper and clean it of any dirt. Remove the brake fluid system screw. Since there is negative pressure in the system, you do not have to worry about any liquid leaking out. In the brake bleeding kit, find the syringe termination screw with the same thread as found on the scooter's brake caliper. Now it is necessary to assemble the syringe. Once successfully assembled, fill it with the brake fluid. Connect the syringe to the brake caliper and remove the brake pads. Replace them with a spacer. Remove the brake lever screw on the handlebars. Make sure to loosen the brake lever screw on the correct side. Next, find a funnel screw in the bleeding kit with the same thread as found on the brake lever. Screw the funnel into the thread on the brake lever. Remove the cap and pour the brake fluid up to the line marked on the funnel. Lean the scooter in a way that the funnel is at the highest position of the entire brake system. Only now you may proceed with the bleeding itself. First, use the syringe to force the fluid to pass through the brake system. The liquid moves from the syringe into the funnel. Now, use the brake lever to pump the fluid back through the entire brake system into the syringe. While doing so, you may observe air bubbles gradually coming out of the brake system. Repeat the whole process until you no longer see any bubbles passing through the tube while pumping the brake. Also, there must be no bubbles coming into the funnel when the syringe is pressed. Once the bleeding is complete, remove the spacer and reinstall the brake pads. However, check the pads first and, if necessary, clean them. Unscrew the syringe from the brake caliper while making sure that the outlet remains the highest point of the caliper. Put the screw back. If you see clear liquid coming out of the caliper while putting the screw back, congratulations. The system is now under pressure and no air has entered it. Clean the brake caliper of the fluid and install it back. However, do not fully tighten it yet. It must be set in the last step. Insert the cap into the funnel on the brake lever. 
and unscrew the funnel. Before putting back the original screw, gently press the brake lever and only then fully tighten the screw. Clean the lever. After successfully closing the entire system, you may now press the brake lever at full strength. This will force the brake caliper to center itself on the brake disc. Now you may tighten the caliper fully. This bleeding procedure is universal, which is why it will work with all types of electric scooters equipped with hydraulic brakes.